Corey, you got a girlfriend? 15? You ain't ready. You ain't got no job. Why you got a girlfriend? You ain't ready. You're 15. Do you love her? No. You're 15. You can't love a woman. No. Love hurts. You know when you're in love? Look at these women, 40 and 50. Look how they sit with the man. That's a love thing. There's a lot of pain coming up through that situation. Where you get these tickets from? That's love. You just holding hands. You look so good. <laughs> oh, you look so good. <laughs> you in heat. Your little hormones jumping off. <laughs> Relationships are so hard. Relationships are so hard. I think we got marriage. I think we should redo marriage. Let's redo marriage. Let's redo marriage. Let's make it difficult to get married, easy to be divorced. Let's make it difficult. You got to pay money up front. You got to pay a fine. You got to pay money. How much you love her? It's going to cost you 20000 Whoa, hey. Whoa. Hey. I don't know about that. Think about it. If the more money your parents spend on your, on your wedding, the longer you got to stay married. If your parents spend 20000 we ain't working out. You got four more years to stay. You're going to make this work. We don't put 20,000 in. I don't care if y'all hate each other. You stand for four more years. That's what the contract says. <laughs> think about if you had all those fines. So you have to go lawyers. Just like you do with divorce, you have to sit with a lawyer. So what do you think? How much stuff is yours? I brought most of it. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, most of it. Most of, I still love you, but this is my stuff. <laughs> You'll see the real side come out. See, divorce should be easy. After you don't spend 75,000, Divorce me like this. You want to hang in there? No, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> you keep one kid, I keep the other. Which one you want? I'll take that one. <laughs> look, how, look how she looked at me. But you know I'm right. You know I'm wrong, but I'm right. You know I'm wrong, but I'm right. Some things are wrong right. Some things are wrong right. Like, like being in the mall and your kids can't find you, you should be able to leave. If they can't find you, <laughs> legally, you should be able to go to the police. He was not with me when I got to the car. I told him. And he is old enough to know I was leaving. He's old enough. So he can't sue me. I told him. I don't know why y'all brought him back here. I had one for a second. Ain't easy, man. Ain't easy being in a relationship. Ain't be easy, easy being a parent. Think about it. The last easy time. Record this is the easiest time in your life. 15 years old. It's easy. Got nothing to do, go play some sports. Mama come pick you up because you can't walk home. It's only like half a block. Oh, I can't walk. I can't walk home from practice. How many times you call your mom? You can see her. Mom, you gonna come get me? I'm looking right at you. I'm looking right at you. Just walk. Follow my, follow my voice. Follow my voice. So Don't make no sense, man. It don't make no sense. That's why I said, because but see in, in Detroit, this is my note. I'm from Benton Harbor, Michigan. That's my home. My home is Benton Harbor, Michigan. You know, see, it's funny. When you're young, Benton Harbor is far from Detroit. It's far. Kalamazoo's 47 miles away. The older you get, you start claiming the whole state. So I was young, now I'm from Benton Harbor. The older you get, no, I'm from Michigan. And then the older you get, I'm from the Midwest. And then the older you get, I'm from America. We all related. We all from America. You keep asking me questions that you know I have to lie at. Do I look fat? No, no. If you wasn't fat, you wouldn't have asked. That's why you asked the question. Skinny people don't say, do I look fat? Skinny people say, do you want to eat? Would you like to have a sandwich? She just wants to see how dumb you are when you tell the truth. And men, all you young men, don't you fall for this one. Even if it hurts me, even if it hurts me, tell me the truth. They'll say, how stupid, how stupid is the man I'm with? You lie, lie, lie. Now, I'm not talking about lying about cheating, lying about other women. I'm talking about little things that you have to lie about. All those little things they ask you, all kind of stupid stuff, stupid things. Do you, do, you, I, do you like this movie? No, I hate the notebook. I hate it. I hate it. It's not even real. 
It's not real. Women love those kind of movies where she had, she had Alzheimer's and, he, and she didn't know him anymore. And he wrote a book. Remember when I met you? We were riding a bike. In real life, he would have came to the hospital. Do you know me? No. <laughs> it sounds wrong, but it's the truth. See, these, these books and all, remember, it's all these, these books and these talk shows that women who don't have a man, all these books and talk shows with women who don't have a man telling you how to lose the man you got because they want you to be just as lonely as they are. <laughs> men are so simple, we freak you out. We're so simple, you can't get to it. Men are simple. We're so simple, it bothers you. You don't understand the simpleness of men. <laughs> Okay, this is how simple a man, this is two men in the car and he make a wrong turn. Dude, man, <laughs> that's it. We're gonna turn left and come back. That's how simple, that's solid. This is you and your wife. Oh God, oh! Why would you turn there? Why? Let's just go home. I don't even wanna go now. I don't even wanna go. The whole night is ruined. Because I turn left, I can turn back around. No, I, I have a headache now. <laughs> men sometimes heard, this is men. This is what we do to freak you up. This is a man acknowledging you. Okay, that means I heard you. But that's not enough for a woman. Okay, now say it back, say it back. Say what I said. Oh, now it's an SAT test. I have to pass the test. This is two men having a conversation. Man, you gonna go to the club? Yeah. <laughs> Done. What time? What time will you be there? What? No. If you, where, what way you gonna go? Well, how would you get there? If you don't know where it's at, why would you say you gonna go? You don't even know where you're going. You don't even know where you're going. You said yes. You don't even know where you're going. I got a GPS. The older you get, the less people you need in your life. You don't need, a, ain't nobody got a hundred friends, MySpace and Facebook. Nobody got a hundred friends. Two, you just need two people to check on you if they ain't seen you to see if you had a stroke. They come to your house and look through the window. That's all you need is two people to call 911. That's all you need. See, when you're young and somebody shows up at your house and expects it, man, what's up? Oh, man, what are you doing? When you're 50 years old and the doorbell rings at 6 o'clock, bing bong, who the hell? It's 6.30. Who the hell comes to somebody's house at 6.30? What? Well, we're in the neighborhood. We'll drive around, look at it. We're about to go to sleep. Man, dude, I was just 17 last week. It goes fast, man. Dude, it goes fast. I'm serious, man. Enjoy this. It goes quick. Dude, I used to, I could outhang you. I could hang. Now I can't sleep because I got to go to the bathroom, but that's different. I gotta stay up for reasons, for personal reasons. I don't know when I started getting tired. Everybody here, anybody here over 35, 40, remember you, you sit there, it's like nine o'clock at night and you look at your wife, oh, it's 9.30. Where did the day go? It's 9.30 and you talk about that for an hour. It's 9.30. We better go to bed and get out these clothes. So you're young, you just jump out your clothes. You got, it takes time. Could you get that button for me? My hand, my hand's locked up. You help each other dress. Get my shoe. Can you get my shoe? It swole up. I can't get it off. I told you to get it off earlier. You can't go to dinner at seven. You can't. Ooh, that's crazy. Trying to go to dinner at seven? Well, it's gonna be nine o'clock by the time we get back. You already tired before you leave. Oh God. It's already seven. By the time we get there, it'll be seven, seven thirty, seven forty-five. You don't wore yourself out trying to get to the car. How many times have you dressed up to go out and you mess up and sit down? You still want to go? I sat down now, I don't need to go. You're the two best dressed people looking at the closer. I'm glad we didn't go, I'm glad too. I thought you wanted to go, I never want to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, man. You said you got a girlfriend? You ain't ready. You ain't ready. You said you ain't ready. You ain't ready to have a woman. You ain't nowhere near ready to have a woman. You ain't ready. You ain't ready for another 20, 30 years. You in training right now. You don't know nothing. You 17, you don't know jack. I know you think you look at your parents, I'm 17, mom, I'm 17. And we laugh at you. Because you can't do nothing. Think about 17, you've been driving for a year, you still hit stuff. You know, you, you make dumb decisions. We were racing, we were racing on the curve. Why were you doing it? I don't know. And you don't want to know why we think you're crazy. Because you got too much testosterone, that's what's wrong with you. You like everything, that's why you can't date yet. At 17, you're like, oh, look at that, oh, look at that, oh, look at that, oh, look at that, oh, 17, you like everything. Your grandmama cute, your grandma look good. At 17, if a grandma got some legs, you getting that number. I don't know, man. Like little dogs that fit in your purse in your pocket. That's not a dog. We got one, we got a chihuahua. My wife found a chihuahua, we saved it from a parking lot. <laughs> Whenever you see a dog in a parking lot, somebody put that dog there for a reason, there's a reason. <laughs> when you go to the dog pound, I mean that sounds good to save an animal from a dog pound, there's a reason people let them dogs go, cause they're crazy. <laughs> there's a reason, there's a reason you let them dogs go. And they fake it, cause they know they're about to die. So when you go to the dog pound, they're like this, hey, what's up, hey, 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 hey. Do we get him home? Oh, dude, you know I'm checked out. <laughs> dude, I got issues. I got this dog, we don't know what it is. It's mixed with everything. It's a child, German Shepherd ch puppy. I don't know what it is. I've had it for eight years. It still don't know me. It still doesn't know me. I come home, oh, oh it's you, my bad. Oh, oh, no, it's you, my bad. Oh. That's a new shirt, that's a new shirt, that's a new shirt. I try to take him back. <laughs> no, they told me there's an animal psychologist. Oh no, if I ain't seen the shrink, the dog ain't gonna see one. <laughs> the dog can't go first. Somebody else in the house gotta go first. <laughs> Not the dog. I can't pay that kind of money. What, how's he feeling? He's very angry <laughs> at you. He's very angry at you. Well then tell him I'm gonna take him outside and leave him outside. <laughs> and dogs have been put out of the car. They don't fall for that twice. <laughs> You try to take a dog in the woods? Oh, hell no. You can get out, I ain't getting out the car. <laughs> Man, we live, in, we live in this country now, everybody going through all this immigration issue, talking about sending people away. How you gonna leave and live here 20 years? I'm like, I'm, I'm going through, I'm looking at stuff, people talking about immigration, where we all these people from other countries, everybody from another country. Did you forget where you came from? We gonna get rid of all the immigrants. There'll be four Indians left, that's all you gonna have. If you're gonna do immigration, then do it. Get everybody out. Let's start all over again. I ain't going nowhere. I don't know. I, if I go to Africa, look at me in Africa. <laughs> what tribe you from? Hiya! <laughs> me and you, we own tribe. You got green eyes, you can't be in the tribe. <laughs> and this is it. See, Americans are just mad because we can't speak any other languages. We're supposed to be an intelligent country. We can't speak to nobody. We're just mad that people come here and can speak other languages. You go to a third world country, don't can't speak two and three languages. Americans can't speak nothing. We go to other countries mad. Can somebody speak English? <laughs> These are some stupid people. <laughs> no, man, you the fool, you in Europe. Hello, hello, hello. Where's the McDonald's? McDonald's. <laughs> you gotta be careful you go to McDonald's in other countries. They don't have no cows. They got kangaroos and <laughs> roosters. <laughs> I don't see no possums here. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> that 10-piece McNugget you just had. 